Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. There's a lot of talk about SEO and for a really good reason. In this instalment of our content marketing series, I outline five rules of SEO, the core principles and key considerations you can use to produce the most successful content marketing strategy possible. Gosh, that's a mouthful. I'm Kari Watt, the creator of The Kari Care Show and a digital strategist with nearly two decades of experience in marketing and communications. It's my mission to help you achieve and exceed your marketing goals through a tailored digital strategy for your business and to help you turn more browsers into customers. For the best digital and social media tips and to rank high on Google search, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video or podcast. You can follow me on social media for some good vibes. It's free. So what is SEO? Hmm? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which is the practice of increasing the quantity and quality of traffic to your website or social through organic search engine results. Try to think of SEO this way. If a customer-focused content marketing program is the salad, then SEO is the dressing. It touches nearly everything and it enhances the overall flavor of the salad, but it's not really mouthwatering by itself. SEO is based on understanding what people are searching for online, the answers they're seeking and the words they're using to search and the type of content they want to read. Knowing the answers to these questions will allow you to connect to people who are searching online for the solutions that you offer. Here are the five rules I follow to write online content that actually converts. Rule number one, creating for people must come first. There's no downside to optimizing your content for SEO, but it shouldn't be your only focus when you create and deliver content online. In light of what your customers are searching for, not to mention Google's ever-changing algorithms that aim to keep online content relevant and of high quality, you can't go wrong if you follow this golden rule. Write content on topics that your audience is already interested in. Rule number two, SEO is only one piece of the puzzle. If you're wondering how much traffic is coming from search engine optimization, open a Google Analytics account. Here you can see a realistic breakdown of how much traffic is coming from each of a key research, such as organic search, email, direct, social, paid, and other. Rule number three, social impacts SEO. It does. Now, ever since Google's Hummingbird update, social media signals have a greater impact on search results than ever before. As a result, it's important for content marketeers like yourself to have a strong social strategy in place that takes SEO considerations into account. Now you can learn how to build a badass social media content marketing strategy in my social media playbook course and you can sign up on the currywatt.com website. Rule number four, SEO is a long tail strategy. It's not a short term. First, when you're first getting started on content marketing, it's not realistic to expect traffic from search to grow quickly. You need to review it three months. And when you do see improvements, Because of your search efforts, the benefits are really long lasting. Rule number five, keywords matter. While obsessing over keywords isn't recommended, you are required to ensure your efforts are ranking for the terms that are most meaningful to your brand and to customers. It's useful to conduct some basic research and build a list of relevant keywords. You can target through your social media posts and website pages or blogs. Now here's an example using my blog insights on the currywatt.com website. While I don't expect every blog to be an ideal candidate for SEO, I do pay particular attention to what is published. I keep an eye on what headline will attract readers from a readability standpoint, but also to keep target keywords in mind. 
In the meta description, I write a short description for every post that includes the target keywords for that post. Now this meta description is what appears in the search engine results to describe why the post is relevant to readers who search. With the title tags, I use a similar strategy to how I treat headlines. I also include a custom title for every piece of content that I publish. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The title tag is what search engines use to determine what piece of content is about including images, videos, infographics, and other pieces of content that don't necessarily have a traditional headline. Now, keen to learn how you can use SEO for social media posts that convert, sign up for the social media playbook on the currywatt.com website or subscribe to my monthly newsletter to receive these clever insights for free. To recap, the five rules of SEO to produce the most successful content marketing strategy are, Create content for people who search for your services. Review Google Analytics to get a realistic view of which content converts the best. Have a strong social media strategy in place. Remember that SEO takes time and it builds over the long term. And last but not least, make a relevant list of keywords to use. In the comments below, please share which of these five rules you'll use as part of your content marketing strategy next. Reach out with any questions you have or let me know any topics you'd like me to cover. And remember to hit the like button and share this with a friend who could use a helping hand. Why? Because Kari cares about women helping women and men who could use a helping hand. Until the next video, peace. Done. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzcastNetwork.com for details.